I will resign. Also known as Oni the Haitian Sensation. <laughs> so. well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm like you. Well, not quite. I'm 32 years with the government of Ontario, and I'll be winding down my career in many years. But I am like you in the sense that I can't take any more taxes, and I can't take any more user fees. Our property taxes in the last three years have risen 14 a better solution that we could find. Uh, and maybe inviting the cycle safety folks uh, to the table to help design that solution would help us. I'm a cyclist. Um, I cycle. And when I cross Moody Drive, I go by four Queensway off ramps. There are four Queensway off ramps today, right? So the redesign of Moody Drive as it goes over the Queensway to accommodate the transfer. Please bear in mind, there is a footpath across the transway at Iris. There's over a thousand buses going by there now. I bike by there, there's a traffic light. There's an accommodation for cyclists across the there's road. There's sidewalks on, on Sorry. there. Sorry. Uh, yes, and we'll, we'll have a better design. I'm going to moderate about uh, participate for the audience. But uh, the facility that we're going to have at Moody Drive is going to meet best practices for cyclists and pedestrians. It's gone through our consultative process, our advisory process. It's going to be much better than what's there now. But right there now are four Queensway on-off ramps, and we're going to have something better as a result. Thank you. John. Thank you. Uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, the best practice is that pedestrians and cyclists won't get killed. Um, whatever uh, you know, solution that uh, we can work on that I think is cost-effective, uh, that meets that objective, I'd be willing to look at it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily just get my scuba right away to, to a bridge. I want to see the cost involved and, and uh, that can be done. And I have some other ideas perhaps we could talk about further after the meeting, but I'm going to be able to done with some help from outside the city government. We tend to think that the city government is the only, only body. Imagine them having to point out that it's unsafe to cross four lanes of Queensway traffic. Uh, I heard that and I've, I've read that before. It just, just makes you wonder, is a tail wagging the dog. They can send a man to the moon, but you can't make a safe intersection? Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next subject, and the next subject is the former St. School, uh, St. Thomas oh, School. Peggy was for, is Peggy McGovern here? Peggy, you're next. Were well, you ready to ask questions on your thing, or do you want to wait a bit? I can ask it now. Okay, okay great. So, go home. Home. Yeah, you, just let everybody know that you circulated the document to the kind of... Yeah, Would you like me to read the question? Who is? What can you do for our community to help make Holly Acres Road something that we can easily use by a bicycle, by a, uh, being a pedestrian, that makes it safe and convenient for us? At the moment, trying to use um, Holly Acres is neither of those things. Thank you for the question. Mark, one minute, please. So I think uh, I think your question is what, what would I do? I think the first thing I would do is the document that was circulated um, to, to the candidates. The effect is that deterrence and enforcement are in place. And we need more visibility of police patrols. Sergeant Mark Patterson of the Auto Police was quoted in the newspaper. There are gangs, there are guns in Ritchie Street and Michelle Heights. It's running rampant at night. It is dangerous. Violent crime in Bay Ward is up, and it's in that area right now, and it's been a problem in that area for 10 or 20 years. The days of hug a thug are over. You'll, you'll look at my uh, pamphlet. I said we need a satellite police station in Britannia Bayshore. I'm sorry. Hugging and everything's not going to work. We need more police presence. We need more enforcement. Get these uh, gangs out of here. Thank you. Uh, Tamarack, uh, Tartan, it creates a, at least, at the very least, even though my colleague here says he can't be purchased for 300 bucks, what are we doing? Are we arguing about the price? It's the principle that counts. And on principle, I will not take it. Thank you. Next, please, Sean. Well, my answer is going to be much the same as uh, Mark Taylor's answer. I, I was in council for nine years, so I was on planning committee for six of those years. So I'm in a position where I was voting on how many proposals that came forward. Just because somebody gave me a campaign donation didn't mean that I necessarily was going to support the project. I voted against 
dozens of projects from people I got uh, donations from. Uh, people that tend to make money in the municipal campaign, quite frankly, are the people that do uh, have an interest in City Hall and who's uh, serving on the council just as people who live in the community have an interest in who's at City Hall and serving them as a councilor. Uh, I, I would welcome uh, lots more donations, but so far I've not received one from uh, anybody that has a pocketbook here or their checkbook here. Today. But uh, no, I think I've received at this point one, and it was from Urban Deal for a creation of about $300. Thank you. Oni? I've not received any corporate money, and um, I wouldn't encourage it. My donations have come from individuals. Thank you. Gary? I would have no problem taking money from uh, corporations. I have enough confidence in myself that. Uh, uh, you can't be bought. I mean, that's an absolute uh, nonsensical thing that someone's going to be bought for seven hundred fifty dollars or fifty dollars. There's an official plan of regulation that you go by that. But uh, there was a candidate that used to put all his contributions on his website. I would look forward to seeing him again. And following up, I uh, I have not sent out one letter for contributions. Mm -hmm. I have not solicited one cent. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'd also like to thank uh, Ruth and the folks who organized tonight's meeting for everyone to come out. Uh, my name is Sean Little, just to give you a little bit of background about myself. I was born in Ottawa. Thank you. 